What's up, Internet? This is Matt Gisantana here, and I am here with a review of the InvisiShield Ultra Clear Plus for the Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G. Now, I ordered this at a moment when there really wasn't any options for a screen protector or glass screen protector. Um, there are some options out there now, so I may end up trying something different. But for now, I'm trying out a glass-like film. Now, it's not quite glass, but it feels like glass. And the application of this was very difficult. Um, one of the hardest that I've ever done, like seriously. Um, and usually I've been like one of those people that like would steam up a bathroom just to, you know, put a screen protector on with no dust. So I've done them before. Um, this right here was extremely difficult. Check out my last video. I actually did it ASMR style because um, I really don't have much to say during doing a, um, a screen install, you know, other than a lot of curse words. But what you're going to see here today is I'm just going to show you guys what this screen protector looks like after being used for about 24 hours. Um, I did notice some things right away, which I'll cover. Um, but let's talk about the things that I do like first. So the first thing that I like is I do like the feel, the reputation or the advertisement, the marketing, I guess you can say. Um, about the actual screen being glass-like is fairly accurate here. If you see here, you can see that things are very smooth to the touch. Um, there is no orange peel effect. I remember there was a moment when the InvisiShield films had like this orange peel, but if you see, it's actually pretty smooth. Um, the insulation was pretty difficult, like I mentioned, but the imperfections that were in the screen protector install um, when I started are now gone. So that is a good sign that it is pretty resilient. Um, there was a part where I dug into right under the camera. You can see there is a dent there. Um, that is where I dug into it to try to get out a bubble or something. But you see there's no bubble now. You can actually just see the dent still. Um, so it's pretty resilient and overall I like it it is a fingerprint ma magnet um, I don't know how well it's going to hold up over time with you know gathering oils from my skin if I lo use lotion or something like that so I'm not too sure um, also some things that I don't like about it is that along the edges sometimes you can kind of see it now it collects this weird dust and it usually wipes off very easily uh, look there's more oil from my hands um, it usually wipes off really easily and it's not like rolling up or doing anything. So I'm not quite sure um, how long this is going to hold up. But if you look at it, it's very thin. It does not go all the way to the edge. It stops about right there. So your, your curved edges are still exposed. Um, but the install is you know, pretty clean, um, not that bad. Well guys, that's all I wanted to show you guys today was just this screen protector and to give you guys a first impression review on it. Um, I'll follow up and let you guys know if I get something else. But in the meantime, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Catch you guys in the next one. Stay up.